Annette McCarthy was an American actress, musician, and later director at a sound studio. She was known for her roles as Evelyn Marsh in Twin Peaks and Dr. Wendy Oliver in the cult movie Creature, 1985. McCarthy had a career in film, television, and theater, appearing in shows like Baywatch, Night Court, and Riptide. She also worked as an executive chef specializing in Italian cuisine. McCarthy died on January 6, 2023, at the age of 64. The cause of her death was not announced. Melinda Dillon was an American actress known for her roles in film and theater. She received a Tony Award nomination for her Broadway debut in the original production of Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, 1962, and was nominated for Academy Awards for her performances in Close Encounters of the Third Kind, 1977, and Absence of Malice, 1981. Dillon's notable film credits include A Christmas Story, Slapshot, and Magnolia. She passed away on January 9, 2023, at the age of 83, and her remains were cremated. It is assumed that she died of old age. Al Brown was an American actor known for his roles in various TV shows and films, including The Wire, 2002, Commander-in-Chief, 2005, and Fartcopter, 2014. Brown made his name playing police commander Stan Valchek in The Wire the blockbuster HBO show about the Baltimore drugs trade. He was a Vietnam War veteran, having served two tours there with the U.S. Air Force. Brown passed away on January 13, 2023, in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the age of 83, after battling Alzheimer's disease. Cynthia Williams was an American actress and producer. She was best known for her roles as bubbly Shirley Feeney on the television sitcoms Happy Days, 1975 to 1979, and Laverne and Shirley, 1976 to 1982. Williams also appeared in several standout films such as American Graffiti, 1973, and The Conversation, 1974. She passed away at the age of 75 in Los Angeles following a brief illness on January 25, 2023. Williams' friends and fans took to social media to honor the late actress, who left a legacy of laughter. Len Berman was a Canadian-American actor, known for his diverse roles on stage, screen, and radio. He started his career in Montreal and later moved to Toronto becoming a mainstay in the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation's radio productions and television series. Berman appeared in films such as Lies My Father Told Me, 1975, The Great Brain, 1977, and Silver Streak, 1976. He also had a prolific voice acting career, lending his voice to various characters. Berman passed away peacefully at the age of 90 at his home in California on February 10, 2023. Jacqueline Zeman was an American actress known for her portrayal of Bobby Spencer on the ABC daytime soap opera General Hospital for 45 years. She began her career with small roles before landing the role of Bobby in 1977. Zeman received multiple daytime Emmy nominations for her performances. She also appeared in films and made for television movies. Zeman passed away at the age of 70 on May 9, 2023 at Los Robles Hospital and Medical Center in California after a short battle with cancer. Zeman married three times and had two daughters. Barry Newman was an American actor best known for his portrayal of Kowalski in Vanishing Point, 1971, and his title role in the 1970s television series Petra Celli. He had a successful career on stage, screen, and television and received nominations for Golden Globe and Emmy Awards. Newman's breakthrough came with his first starring role in the film The Lawyer, 1970. He died of natural causes at the age of 92 on May 11, 2023, at a New York City hospital. His widow Angela was his only surviving family member. Jim Brown was an American football fullback, civil rights activist, and actor. 
Known for his powerful performances, he appeared in several movies and was considered a groundbreaking black action star, at times described as a black Superman or a black John Wayne. Brown had lead roles in films like The Split, 1968, and 100 Rifles, 1969, which featured one of the first interracial love scenes in a major Hollywood movie. He later had television appearances and cameo roles. Brown died of natural causes at his home in Los Angeles at the age of 87 on May 18, 2023, with his wife by his side. Tina Turner was an American-born Swiss singer, songwriter, and actress known as the Queen of Rock and Roll. She achieved fame as the lead singer of the Ike and Tina Turner Review, and later had a successful solo career. Turner's powerful vocals and energetic performances made her a legendary figure in music. She also had a notable acting career, appearing in films like Tommy, 1975, and Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, 1985. Turner died of natural causes at her home in Switzerland at the age of 83 on May 24, 2023, after years of illnesses. Patricia Dainton was a British actress known for her roles in films and television during the 1940s to 1960s. She started her career in stage productions and later transitioned to films, making her debut in The Bells Go Down, 1942. Dayton had a variety of roles in films and starred in the UK's first daily soap, Sixpenny Corner, appearing in 179 episodes between 1955 and 1956. She passed away on the 31st of May, 2023, at the age of 93 of natural causes. Treat Williams was an American actor known for his work in film, television, and theater. He gained recognition for his roles in 1979 films such as Hair and 1941. Williams appeared in numerous films and TV shows throughout his career, receiving accolades and nominations for his performances. He also had a successful stage career, including his role as Danny Zuko in the original Broadway run of Grease, 1972. Williams died on June 12, 2023, at the age of 71 due to injuries sustained in a motorcycle crash. Glenda Jackson was an English actress and politician. She achieved the American Triple Crown of Acting, winning two Academy Awards, three Emmy Awards, and a Tony Award. Jackson studied at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art and made her Broadway debut in 1966. She had a successful acting career with notable performances in films such as Women in Love, 1970, A Touch of Class, 1973, and Sunday Bloody Sunday, 1971. In 1992, she became a member of Parliament for Hampstead and Highgate and later served as a junior transport minister. Jackson retired from politics in 2015 and returned to acting. She died at her home in Blackheath, London, after a brief illness on the 15th of June, 2023, at the age of 87. Betta St. John was an American actress, singer, and dancer, known for her work on Broadway, The West End, and in Hollywood films. Starting her career as a child actress, she appeared in uncredited movie parts before making her adult debut in the MGM film Dream Wife opposite Cary Grant in 1953. She later moved to England and starred in British films such as High Tide at Noon and two Tarzan films. St. John passed away of natural causes in Brighton, England on June 23, 2023, at the age of 93. Carmen Sevilla was a Spanish actress, singer, and dancer. She rose to fame in the 1940s and became one of the most popular and highest-paid stars of Spanish cinema. She also had notable roles in English-language films such as King of Kings, 1961, and Antony and Cleopatra, 1972. In 1991, she started a successful career as a television presenter until her retirement in 2010. Sevilla passed away on the 27th of June, 2023, at the age of 92 due to complications from Alzheimer's disease. At the time of her death, she was one of the last surviving stars from the golden age of Mexican cinema and from the golden age of Hollywood. 
Alan Arkin was an American actor and filmmaker. He had a career that spanned seven decades and received numerous awards, including an Academy Award, a BAFTA Award, a Golden Globe Award, and a Tony Award, as well as nominations for six Emmy Awards. Arkin was known for his roles in films such as The Russians Are Coming, The Russians Are Coming, 1966, Catch-22, 1970, Little Miss Sunshine, 2006, and Argo, 2012. Arkin directed three films, including the black comedy Little Murders, 1971. He also had a successful career in television and was part of the Netflix series The Kaminsky Method. Arkin passed away on June 29, 2023 at the age of 89 due to heart problems.